Okay, today we're looking at the hay bike brawn. Okay, here goes. Today, let's take a look at the hay bike brawn. This is a full-size e-bike. It has a 750 watt hub motor. It is 48 volt, 18 amp hour battery pack. It has hydraulic suspension, has some other goody stuff. So let's just get this thing out of the box and see if it's any good. That's a lot of tape. Let's get a, let's, so let's get a genuine first impression. Whoo! Okay, got some freaking fat tires. All right. It's heavy. Oh, the staples got me. That's one way to do it. Okay, mm, I'm gonna make the executive decision. Actually stands up on its own. I'm just gonna leave it right here. And like a lot of the e-bikes I've been recently getting in, there's a lot of zip ties holding things together. So just start snipping and we'll get this thing put together, you know, sooner or later. The aluminum mold ring only used for packaging protection. Please take it off. Okay, okay, I, I like that, I like that. I can respect some good packaging. Freaking mosquitoes, man. I'm trying to just live my life here. All right, so here it is. This is a hay bike brawn. I did give it a full charge, so we're locked and loaded to go take this thing on the road, get the first impression, first ride on it. But really quick, let's just kind of show you guys generally kind of just how the bike looks. It's definitely a beefier type bike. It's a tall frame. It's definitely a full size frame bike and it definitely just looks beefy. It's got the fat tires on it, obviously. And let's really quick just go over some of the software. It is a pretty simple screen. Nothing, you know, super crazy special here on the screen, but it does have the adjustable pedal assist, of course. You can click through the various menu options with the power slash menu button. And then the F button kind of toggles through your max speed, average speed, and your current speed, that kind of thing. It does also have a headlight on it, so that is really nice. And it is a nice motorcycle type headlight. Um, so it should be really nice and bright. It does have a horn as well, so let's test that out. Super loud, uh, electric horn. So yeah, that's the hay bike brawn. We're all set to go get this thing on the first ride and I'm very excited to uh, see how it rides. It does not have rear suspension, but it does have adjustable front suspension. So, and it does have big tires on it. So it should be a nice smooth ride regardless of no suspension on the back. So anyway, let's get this thing on a first ride. All right, riding the hay bike brawn. This is a 48 volt, 18 amp hour. Oh frick, it's quick, dude. Uh, battery pack it has a 750 watt motor so it should be decently powerful and it is it definitely gets up to speed pretty quick despite its large fat tires anyway so far i'm definitely impressed just the overall speed and the comfort of it it's really not bad the rear suspension the or the lack thereof is really not that bad with these huge fat tires on it so there's not a whole lot of road vibration or any real little bumps that I feel. The front suspension does a good job of dampening what it needs to. And it's quick. That's the first thing I notice is it just gets up to speed pretty dang quick. So this is full throttle right here, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So it climbs pretty good for an e-bike, obviously. But it climbs pretty good. Most e-bikes don't get up that fast that quick. And we're at 28 about right now and overall it's it's a good feeling full size you know larger type frame and apparently the weight capacity is 400 pounds so i get that question a lot actually you know like i'm a bigger dude do you recommend 
what bike do you recommend for larger riders and this will do up to 400 pounds so there you go but that being said i'm six foot three and 205 pounds so i'm only half of what the rated capacity of this thing is and overall this just feels good i could see why they named it the brawn because it just feels beefy and planted and it's a big bike and it just feels good it really does it's a very comfortable very natural riding position you're not leaning over too far but at the same time you know the handlebars are positioned well for handling and just an overall sporty type feel but at the same time it's very comfortable so i i personally really like it a lot so far it, and it gets up to speed freaking quick too. We're at 29 miles per hour. Let's see if it'll get anything above that. Yeah, you don't really feel bumps much at all. It's a really smooth ride. No marks off for the ride quality, that's for sure. Despite it having no rear suspension, it you don't really feel it much, at least so far. And obviously I will be taking this out for a longer ride in just a bit. I think I'm just gonna go out right after I film this. I'm just gonna take it out and do the full range test um, so we'll see overall how comfortable it is after about an hour and an hour and a half or something on it but i can already tell after having reviewed so many e-bikes i could tell this is definitely one of the more comfortable ones and it feels very well put together i know i'm wearing gloves and whatnot but when i'm feeling this with just my bare hands the rubber the material everything is decently you know it's it's better than average and so that's really nice I, i'm not a huge fan of the cheap feel you know little chinese e-bike feel type vibe and this doesn't give that it gives it a vibe of a well-built well-assembled e-bike with good quality materials uh, besides the screen i would say if it had a high resolution color screen that would definitely be preferred but i mean that's a small complaint for having a bike like this you know and it does its job you know <laughs> So anyway, let's get this thing on a full range test and uh, see how many miles it gets. I'm just going to bring you guys back when I'm done. you expect for fat tires you can kind of hear like it going shh, stopping that's because the rubber is so thick and like round that it kind of just takes a second longer to stop but overall not bad it'll stop you that's for sure okay well that is the hay bike brawn we got a whopping and impressive 26.3 miles on one charge i did charge it well it was 26.1 Okay, before we did these little street passes, I gave it a charge. Anyway, 26.1 miles is what I got on one full charge last night at 28 miles per hour too. That's that's actually really, really good. So this bike right here is $1,800 roughly as it currently is on their website. For $1,800, that's actually not not too bad. That Anything less than that usually gets like a lot of the other e-bikes get 20, 22 miles or something, average range on one charge. This one did 26.1, which is definitely above average and it's above average speed this is a class 3 e-bike so you go 28 miles per hour top speed uh, on this one so it's faster and you get above average range on it so $1,800 is definitely a justified price a lot of the $1,500 or $1,200 e-bikes you know get 20 22 miles of range and you're limited to 20 miles per hour as far as convenience and functions and comfort it was all pretty dang good comfort I think the only complaint I have if it's eighteen hundred dollars, I, I hope they can add a second shock, you know, one on the rear. These fat tires do a great job. It's a very comfortable ride of uh, minimizing vibration, and whatnot, on the road. You don't feel normal bumps on a flat road, and the front suspension does a great job. But it's the big bumps and whatnot that I really want rear suspension for. You just feel it, you know, as a rider if you're hitting really big bumps. But again, eighteen hundred dollars is not that much for a bike, so it's understandable. And it's a really good bike, really good powertrain, a lot of torque very good battery range 
very good top speed you know for the price category my only other complaint is the screen i wish was um i wish it was a color display i wish it was a high resolution display um, apparently there is an app and let me see if i can okay it is illuminated so that's good and it does have a nice motorcycle style headlight on it which is insanely bright so i would love to ride this thing at night again as far as convenience functions and whatnot this is a really good bike really good bike my only complaint would be just the rear shock it, you know to get all the rest of the bumps out of the road just add a rear shock on there color display would be appreciated but it's still not bad you know it's just a simple display but it works it's functional hay bike is a brand that's been around for a while and i've seen them getting better and better year to year i have reviewed other hay bikes as well in the past so very uh, you know appreciated they send me another one and like the reviews <laughs> uh, but i did notice these grips are definitely a lot better than the standard e-bike you could i mean it's nice soft leather and it feels really good when you're riding on it um, probably i would say this is one of the most comfortable bikes at least for my body style that i've ridden for a little bit like you can see i'm not super leaned over um, but it's still very you know you could throw it around a little bit and it feels good it feels really good anyway that is that's it that's the hay bike brawn there is a link below if you guys want to check it out eighteen hundred dollars as it sits now i'm not sure if they have discount codes or not i'll check with them and if there is i'll throw it in the description hay bike's a great brand i saw a couple other hay bikes on the bike trail as i was riding it around so i'm sure they are here to stay um you know customer support parts in the future if you need them will be available i would expect i am <laughs> okay all right um it is worth mentioning too they do have an app for the bike apparently it wants to connect maybe you can actually unlock some you know features or program it via the app um but i have way too many apps and stuff on my phone already and i don't want to be signing up for another thing to send me emails um so i'm sure they have videos on this you know the app integration and whatnot and if you're confused about the app if you get the bike just email them they'll tell you <laughs> all right that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys i'll catch you in the next video